Now let's talk about the basics of working with materials and paint layers in Mudbox. So this is lesson 07 start and right now you can see it just has this basic brown material on it with a certain type of specularity that gives us an idea of the sculpted detail that we've created. Now this has a particular material. This is actually the, de the default material that's on this T-Rex right now. You can see over in our object list the default material listed here. If we click on this you can see that we have certain properties within our material and we can access the material on this by either going to these properties we can also use our marking menu go ahead and edit material there you can see that we have in the default material slots for diffuse specular glossiness uh, actually now in 2012 we have opacity that we can create and we have reflection mass bump map uh, vector displacement map so a lot of different options in here for our material. Okay, this is going to be the default basic type of material that we're going to be using here in Mudbox. All right. Now, if you want to just real quickly take a look at your model using a different material, one of the ways you can do this is go down to your materials preset, material presets rather, tray, and then all you have to do is click on any of these materials and it'll real quickly just show what your model looks like with that particular material on it. And so we can just real quickly cycle through these and you can see uh, there's a lot of variation in here that we can get and depending on the model that you're creating some of these will work better than others for getting the detail uh, that you want to be able to see you can see some are more specular some are less specular here we've got kind of a uh, electron microscope kind of a look and so there are a lot of different options for just real quickly viewing your model with a material preset now we can also create material so let's go ahead and create a new material so we'll go to create material and you can see that we have options for our mudbox material which is our going to be our main default material we also have a simple blend so if we create this simple blend material you can see it listed here I can now go ahead and assign this either by using the marking menu I can also use the uh, the hotbox and I can come in and assign a new material or assign existing material. We just created one, so we'll go ahead and assign that existing material. Now this will allow us to get some real quick shading on this, especially if you're using a, a, an older graphics card, it may be better for you. But we won't be able to do any sort of texture painting on this. So for that, we need to really have a mud box material assigned. And so again, we can go to create, we can also come in here and we can say um, assign new material create a mud box material and that will bring up our material we can change the color of our material if we want okay you can change the specular change any of these by clicking on these swatches now you can see that we have this now material here we can go ahead and rename this so we'll call this t-rex material or something similar and so now this T-Rex material is what is associated with this model. Okay? So we can still we can come in here on the specular if we want to dial that specular down. We can take that down and you can see how that affects the model, make it shinier and so forth. Okay? We can also come in with the gloss, make it glossier. So we can modify that material, but we can't really do any sort of painting on this until we create a paint layer. That's what we're going to call our texture maps here in Mudbox. We're going to have those as paint layers. So if we come in here to paint, you can see there's no paint layers currently. So we want to go to our paint tools. And we can choose the paintbrush. There are options, a number of options for creating a new paint layer. We can just click on this uh, model, which will give us the option to create a new paint layer. We can also click from here to create a new layer and come up here to create a new paint layer. So a number of different options to be able to do that. We'll just real quickly click on this. It's going to give us the option to name this so we'll call this uh, something like t-rex base color or something similar we can choose the size of the image map that we're going to be painting we can choose the format and then we'll choose the channel so if we open this drop down you can see that we can paint maps for diffuse specular gloss opacity uh, vector displacement we can paint maps for all of these and we can actually have multiple layers for each of these so the first map that we'll create is going to be just diffuse, which is going to be just the basic color. Now you can see that we have a little section here for that channel and then also a an actual layer for this actual texture. We have a strength value here. We have the visibility and ability to lock this here. OK, 
Okay, so it's going to behave a little bit like our sculpt layer as far as having the strength. We also have these blend modes that we can use. We don't when you have anything to blend it with, so we won't uh, bother with that right now. So to use these paint layers, just the default painting methodology here in Mudbox, we're going to need to have UVs on our mesh. And so you can see we do have UVs for our T-Rex. Now we also, in, the, in uh, Mudbox in 2012, we also have the ability to actually create UVs. So if you bring in something that doesn't have UVs, you can create simple UVs for those as well. So you make sure to check that out. So once we have our uh, paint layer created, we now need to just start painting. So we take our paintbrush and we can start adding some color to this real quickly. And we'll talk more about uh, painting in a couple of lessons. But basically we can just come in and start to paint over this. Now we're painting over the green. The green is actually in the material. And so I don't want my color to be dependent on the color of the material. I want all the color to come from texture maps that I create. So I want to make sure to paint through this. So you can see we can come in here and paint in a 3D mode, but sometimes it's a little bit easier to just to make sure you get everything that you can actually, it's easier to come in and just flatten this to UV space. So it takes that model and flattens it down into the UV space. And now we can paint over all of these pieces really, really quickly because we know I just want everything to be this white. Okay, so I know I can, I don't have to worry about making any distinctions here and then we can just go back in and unflatten from UV space and now everything is that white okay so now we've got our base paint layer added you can start adding more color on that but we'll leave it at that point we can go in and let's edit our material a little bit so we can go in here and edit material okay we can say well I, I, I want this specular to be a bit darker so we can go ahead and darken that up Okay, maybe something like that. You can go into the gloss and say, well, I either want it to be more dull or I want it to be glossier. And we can change that. So now we have kind of a base coat that we can start to build on for our dinosaur. So we have the material that we've added. And again, that's a mud box material, which is going to be the recommended material. There are lit sphere and CG effects materials that will allow you to get some interesting results based on your graphics card uh, as well. Okay, so you might check those out too. Okay, so we've got the, the material driving the surface properties of our mesh, and then we've got our paint layer driving the color. You can see that I can turn that visibility off and on. And as we get into painting, we'll get more into working with the blend modes as well, and, and also coming in here and looking at some of these options that we have, layer masks and so forth. Uh, but we just want to get the basic color set up for our dinosaur. Okay, so that's real simple look at working with materials. Remember you can use your material presets. You can also add new materials. Keep in mind that if you're going to be, if you have an object that's going to uh, have its own paint layers, you want to assign that material to it. The paint layers will be associated with that material. Okay. So now that we've got that done, let's take a look at something called on target presentation. And there are a few things that are going to be involved in that, including uh, working with lights and also working with some of the the viewport filter. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that in the next lesson.